This shark could hold clues to the state of the underwater ecosystem in southern Florida's Biscayne Bay. Professor Catherine McDonald runs the University of Miami's Shark Research and Conservation Program. The goal of weekly expeditions like this is to better understand shark habitats. The samples that we took today help us answer questions about how this ecosystem is functioning now, but they will also help us answer questions about how it's changing in the face of the human-caused alterations that we know are coming in the future. Three, two, one, send it! McDonald has another passion too, getting women and girls excited about science. McDonald's newest intern, undergraduate student Haley Acker, says it hasn't always been smooth sailing trying to pursue her love of sharks. I have been obsessed with them since I was a little kid, um, and I've always lived near the water. I applied to numerous shark labs and tried to get my foot in the door, um, but it seemed that they only were selecting um, other males to be their volunteers and their helpers, and they just didn't, I believe that they just didn't think that I was smart enough or could do it, you know, wasn't strong enough. and. Um, finally being able to come here and be given this opportunity to work with sharks and, you know, work on my dream has been awesome and I love that I'm finally able to, like, prove myself. I get letters uh, from young girls who are excited about shark science, sometimes just asking scientific questions, sometimes asking how they can grow up to be like me. And uh, I think for my whole lab, uh, answering those questions, responding to those girls, is one of the things that we find really deeply rewarding. McDonald hopes some of those letter writers might eventually land in a lab like hers. We run trips that are intentionally geared towards middle school girls, which studies show is an age at which uh, many girls sort of start to think that maybe science isn't for them. Uh, and the chance to watch them connect with my undergraduate interns and my graduate students is really meaningful. When they ask me how I don't lose hope because conservation is sometimes a happy experience but often a sad and challenging one, how, where would I get the nerve to give up if they're not? 